Hello, dear Virgo. Today I am ready and prepared for this reading, with advice, revelations, and tarot prophesies for you. I hope you are doing very well. I thank you infinitely for your presence, for your likes, and your beautiful comments. Of course, also for your subscription. It really makes me very happy that you are here. Please stay until the end. If you are here, it may not be by chance. Maybe there is a message that you need to hear right now. Remember that you are the owner of your future, and you are free to make your own decisions. Keep in mind that these messages are general. If they do not resonate with you, let them go. Now let's look at the energies that are developing in different areas of your life, such as love, money, health, and family. First, I leave you with the tip of the day. Let us forget about past experiences and give today the place it deserves, because it is in the now that everything is decided. Take your mind off failures and the limitations of the past, because the return of the market is about to take place. Have you recently been thinking about a friend who lives far away, who you haven't heard from in a long time? If so, you could receive a phone call or letter from them today. Your intuition is heightened, so you may know telepathically that your friend has been thinking about you. Don't be surprised, this happens all the time. Today you'll feel especially passionate and sexy, and eager for a romantic encounter. You may even have a passionate date planned. Don't be surprised if it has to be postponed, though, for reasons beyond your or your partner's control. If you can't do anything, you'd be better off trying to sublimate those feelings through creative activities. Romantic novels and movies can also be an outlet, though never quite the same as the real thing. This could be one of the best days you've had in a long time. Relationships with your colleagues and superiors will be very good and communication will be clear and open. Work will flow through your desk like water over a dam and you will receive much satisfaction from your achievements. In the evening, get together with those who share your interests. You'll enjoy some interesting conversations. Today, you'll have a positive feeling about your finances. You've been working hard to save money and get your situation in order. You may see all this effort finally pay off. You'll discover that you have more money in your bank account than you thought. Or you'll receive good news regarding the results of an investment. You deserve this financial breakthrough. You'll be concerned about improving your image. Maybe you're thinking about changing your wardrobe. You'll want to invest in a new suit that will really complement you. Or maybe buy yourself some new colorful ties that will accentuate your image. Even a new pair of shoes will make you feel great. Take advantage of the upcoming sales to change your image from head to toe. If you pay attention today, you will notice aspects in people that you never noticed before. Don't get caught up in the frenetic activity that awaits you today. Ask others for advice. If you ask for help, you will be given it. This way, you will get to know better those who are willing to lend you a helping hand. Below are your lucky numbers and color for today. But first, I invite you to leave me a like. Your support encourages me to continue with my readings, hoping to help you in your daily life. Your ruling numbers for today are 15 and 44. Try to use them as much as possible. Take advantage of them since they will only be with you for today. If you have the opportunity to participate with these numbers in a drawer, don't miss the opportunity to do so. Your lucky color for today is crimson. Try wearing some clothing in this color, or you could wear an accessory that contains it, as this will bring luck to your day, and it will also make you look amazing. If throughout the day you have to choose something that contains this or another color, do not hesitate to choose the one that contains your lucky color. Today you will bring what you feel and what you truly believe is authentic and true for you. You have a tremendously strong conviction and this is given to you by three specific planets in the position in which they are found. In fact, you are already a person with mood swings, 
something that happens to everyone equally. They can be sudden or stable, depending on the time of your life. But today, it is true that you must control the state of change, since it can be a little complex when people try to explain something to you. Let me tell you that you have to take things from a slightly more relaxed perspective. Life is much simpler and more pleasant when we relax, because it is our own mind, our own brain, that puts barriers and impediments to us at certain points in life. When intensity takes over you, it does not leave your body and then you tense up, especially in your back and shoulders. Stress appears in your life, so unless you do everything possible to abandon a firm idea, try above all not to let it affect you. Everything is done with patience and little by little. Remember to take one small step at a time. There is a great project and an innovative idea. On the other hand, you may be surrounding yourself with people who are not so suitable for achieving that goal, and perhaps they do not let you grow. Although it is very likely that they put on a mask of a certain friendship or companionship, when in reality it is not so true. The stars advise you, therefore, to distance yourself in moderation, as long as you know who they are. Of course, you are not going to distance yourself from everyone, not by a long shot, since, if you do it in a brusque or abrupt way, you could make a mistake and those people might not be the ones I'm talking about. In addition, they would notice and you could unleash a pointless argument that you could have avoided. Remember to look inside yourself, realize that you are a rather diplomatic sign that does not want any bad vibes or bad stories, and therefore, in that regard, it is one of your great virtues. On the other hand, you may find yourself at a crucial time in your life where hidden truths are finally coming to light, allowing you to see things with a clarity that previously eluded you. You feel as though a spell that held you under an illusion has been broken and you are now ready to face reality as it is, without the veils of self-deception or emotions clouding your judgment. Your crown chakra, that spiritual connection you have with the highest, has fully opened, illuminating your path with deep wisdom. This allows you to discern that which previously went unnoticed. You have realized that a relationship or situation that once seemed important is now fading away. Although this may bring sadness, you are no longer willing to fight for something that is clearly not working. You have reached a point where pores and reflection allow you to understand what really matters. You are stronger than ever. Virgo, you have gone through intense spiritual work that has brought you to a point of personal evolution. Now, your intuition and feelings are your best guides, and you will not let anyone fool you with empty promises or lies. You are willing to do justice, not from anger or resentment, but from a deep self-love. This love for yourself is what drives you to act firmly and clearly in relationships. You may be faced with a mix of emotions, you feel that someone close to you has let you down, but instead of letting yourself be carried away by anger, you will remain calm and speak clearly. This cold and calculating approach will make the other person realize their mistake. Although they may not accept it at first, justice is on your side and you will soon see how things begin to balance out in your favor. On a spiritual level, you are ready to close painful chapters and move towards a new beginning. This is a time of liberation where you leave behind old wounds and ruminating thoughts that have kept you trapped in the past. You are now open to new opportunities and connections that could bring people and situations that truly align with your values and needs. The moon is transiting your 11th house and an aspect with Saturn, which is now transiting your house of esteem. This implies that what is related to your good forecasts or expectations will involve certain sacrifices in relation to your negotiations or relationships, which will also imply restrictions in what you have to face. It is time to trust in your strength and personal power, and also take advantage of the presence of the sun in your twelfth house in its domicile sign to strengthen your spirit in solitude or try to reconcile the way in which you adapt to the world with an inner spiritual force that now pushes you to make the best decisions. This is an ideal time to meditate, 
introspect and connect with your true purposes, aligning your actions with your most essential values in order to achieve your goals without fearing the efforts that come your way. As for your health, you feel better, there is nothing bothering you at the moment, and that is something to celebrate. Whoever has the ailments that you usually have, because you already know that each person is a world, it seems that today it is not going to get any worse. You have learned and changed enough to know how to recognize what your body is trying to tell you, its language. Now you know that you have to take things calmly and not let anything or anyone disturb you or take away your peace. You know what you want, you know what you long for and desire, and therefore, do not feel bad if there are other circumstances or people around you who do not understand you or complement your way of living life. Your vision can only be understood by those who truly understand it, and this may take a little time. Do not stop practicing patience, the famous patience, because that will help you greatly with your goals, also, of course, health. In the workplace, you are in a position where you are not generating enough and you know that you must have new ambitions, new goals. Although they may seem short or medium term, perhaps it is to renew your job, if you have the possibility to do so, or perhaps to demand your rights if you work for someone else, or to renew something that you consider to be obsolete in some way. As for your work, patience also prevails, but above all, a higher degree of empathy linked to strategy. On this path you can meet different people who will tell you what you really have to do, they will help you and advise you directly or indirectly. But you cannot fall into states of pride, much less become obtuse, because that would distance you from your objectives. Therefore, calm down in this aspect as well. If you are already at the point of wanting to change some things, you may feel blank today, not knowing what to do, what decision to make or how this can affect your working existence. That is totally normal. We all go through it at some point in our working career. Do not feel lost or that you will not achieve your goals because it is only a standby state, a momentary stop. It is simply another station on the train, to define it metaphorically. You have to wait for the doors to close and the train to start moving again, so that you will see other things later. They are all stages of learning, of course they are. Do not feel bad, take it easy. It is true that, for example, if you are already at an advanced age or are about to retire, or maybe you have retired recently or a long time ago, who knows? The important thing is also that you do not lose sight of the objectives, which in this case will no longer be so much work-related, but may perhaps have to do with how to earn some extra money. In the financial area, a pure attitude. What does this mean? Well, you have to keep maintaining the ability that people of your sign have to continue being yourself. You are an authentic and original sign. That is why I tell you to let your passion flow. The passion for work, the passion for projects or the passion for your purest hobby. You can also make money. Use that wonderful ability and gift that you have to convince others to join your cores and your projects. It is easy for them to do so if you use the right words and the right message. Remember to trust yourself, because if you don't, there will be no one who can trust you. External trust also comes first from something internal, from something within us. Little by little, but without losing the rhythm, as you know. As for love, if you have a partner, it's a time to free yourself from toxic relationships. There are several parts that open up. Your relationship may be in a stage of arguments. Some people of your sign may be going through a certain stage of frequent arguments, and there you have to not end the relationship, but try to see how it can be improved. It's time to change those things, or maybe you have a happy relationship, but there are some toxic friendships that are trying to sow some discord in the middle, and it seems that, when that friend appears, then, curiously, when he or she leaves or when you finish talking to him or her, there is usually some argument between the couple or some coldness. If you detect this kind of energetic change in your relationship, it's time for you to speak clearly with your partner, calmly, especially if it's his or her friend and not so much yours, but his or hers. 
it's important that you establish certain limits. You need to do something different, something different. You must try new experiences and continue to delve deeper into your inner relationship. It is time to erase and continue writing. You must communicate quickly with your partner, and if you really want to continue moving forward, take this as a life project, developing your spirituality and your love. Talk at once. It is not time to keep silent, but to externalize it. If you are single, the truth is that you have a very strong passionate flame that is at its peak. There is an interesting person who will come into your life in search of things that you cannot offer them. In some way, there is a certain state of reciprocal lack. Be very careful with these situations. For example, imagine that there is someone who is asking more and more from you, who is demanding more and more from you, because these are more common situations than you think. The stars only advise you to know very well and exactly who this person is that you are getting to know. If you detect signs of toxicity, which is something that is very easily detected these days because there is a lot of information about it, put the stop. Put it on standby, put it on hold so that you can get to know that person better and learn how you can complement each other more and more each day. But above all, be careful with relationships that are looking tense, because you have to take them calmly, but you also have to know how to cut them off if you see that things aren't improving. And, of course, there are plenty of fish in the water, of all different signs. Don't hold onto a relationship that may be starting or that you may be getting to know, or that you will soon get to know, just because it may be toxic. There are wonderful people around you who can bring you much more for your energy issues. Today, your energy is moderate. Even though there is nothing or no one that bothers you, memories of the past can invade your mind and make you feel different, with a certain state of confusion. So you have to maintain coherence regarding the positive situation that you have to enhance today, absolute sincerity. You are not a sign that tells lies throughout your life, you are not a sign that lies, but today you do not need to. You believe in what is fair, in what is correct and in what is appropriate, therefore, there is nothing more that needs to be said or commented on. As for the negative thing you need to avoid today, it's pride. If there is a situation in which you don't have the power, it can make learning very difficult. So be careful not to be stumbling over a metaphorical wall that you can't get over and break that pattern of behavior. And if you're studying right now, don't stress yourself out. The same thing I told you at the beginning of the video, don't stress yourself out, because stress also applies to students today. There's no point and no need for you to stress yourself out, take things calmly and with a willingness. As for compatibility, today you have a wonderful day with these three signs. Firstly, with people of the sign of Taurus, you have a fascinating, joyful, happy, blissful and very positive day. Secondly, with people of the sign of Pisces, you have a charming, serene, patient and stable day, without any problems. And thirdly, with people of the sign of Sagittarius, you have a brave day, with a great desire to continue creating things that you can agree on and, above all, to continue moving forward. Dear Virgo, this was your reading for today, as always, thank you so much for being here with me. Remember that the purpose of our predictions is to guide you, so that you can make more appropriate and correct decisions based on them. If you like these sessions, click on that like button, you can also subscribe and activate notifications so you don't miss the daily predictions. I hope you have a day full of positive manifestations. A big kiss to everyone.